Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Mount Everest. Okay, what am I doing? Love kit, thank you. Uh, it's Monty Python, sure, okay. Forbidding a... Mount Everest. Forbidding, aloof, terrifying. The mountain with the biggest tits in the world. Start again. <laughs> Mount Everest. Forbidding, aloof, terrifying. This year, this remote Himalayan mountain, this mystical temple, surrounded by the most difficult terrain in the world, repulsed yet another attempt to conquer it. This time by the International Hairdressers Expedition. <laughs> In such freezing, adverse conditions, man comes very close to breaking point. What was the real cause of the disharmony which destroyed their chances of success? Well, people keep taking a hair dryer and every tent. <laughs> for bitching in the tents. You couldn't get near the mirror. <laughs> the leader of the expedition was Colonel Sir John Teasy Weezy Butler, veteran of K2, Annapurna and Vidal. His plan was to ignore the usual route round the South Col and to make straight for the top. Well, we established base salon here. <laughs> climbed quite steadily up to Mario's here. <laughs> From here, using crampons and cutting ice steps as we went, we moved steadily up the Lotsey face to the North Ridge, establishing Camp 3, where we could get a hot meal, a manicure, and a shampoo and set. <laughs> could it work? Could this 18-year-old hairdresser from Brixton succeed where others had failed? The situation was complicated by the imminent arrival of the monsoon storms. Patrice takes up the story. Well, we knew as well as anyone that the monsoons were due. But the thing was, Ricky and I just had to blow dry and rinse. And we couldn't go out for a couple of days. After a blazing row, the Germans and Italians had turned back, taking with them the last of the hairnets. On the third day, a blizzard blew up. Temperatures fell to minus 30 centigrade. Inside the little tent, things were getting desperate. Well, things have got so bad that we've been forced to use the last of the heavy oxygen equipment just to keep the dryers going. <laughs> oh, she's a trash. But a new factor had ended the race. A team of French chiropodists working with brand new corn plasters and Dr. Scholl's mountaineering sandals. What? You were laughing over it. But a new factor had ended the race. A team of French chiropodists working with brand new corn plasters and Dr. Scholl's mountaineering sandals. Guys, I don't get that one. Come on. Please. The Glasgow Orpheus male voice choir were tackling the difficult North Pole. Altogether, 14 expeditions were at his heels. This was it. Ricky had to make a decision. Well, he decided to open a salon. It was a tremendous success. <laughs> Challenging Everest? Why not drop in at Ricky Pules, only 24,000 feet from this cinema? Ricky and Maurice offer a variety of styles for the well-groomed climber. Like Sherpa Tenzing and Sir Edmund Hillary, be number one on top when you're number one on top. Tenzing, Tenzing, Nor Norge? What is this? Off call. Does, I didn't know Monty Python did skits like this. It felt like a Harry Enfield sketch, which is a compliment from me because I think they're awesome. Okay, great. Thanks, Love Kit. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Could you explain that the part for me? Uh, see you next time. Bye, guys. I'm going to check out some more of these, see if there are some others. Bye.